Are you tired of clogged chutes, messy nozzles, or AMS feed port hiccups on your Bamboo Lab P1 or X1? Stay tuned as I've got three handy upgrades to banish those bugs. Welcome back to Directed Tech. I am Rick, and today we are installing three simple, under $25 total upgrades to make your Bamboo Lab P1 or X1 and the original AMS even more reliable. Now, the good folks at Bichu sent me a number of items, and I'm going to crack into this box right here and show you what they sent. So let's get that opened. We will switch over the cameras here. So I haven't had any issues with my AMS. I've never had filament break inside. Thank goodness. Knock on wood. Um, but I have heard that when you do have to take it apart, some of the cables are a little bit short and they make it really tricky. So uh, Bichu has created these extension cables here so you can put these on inside and then uh, you'll have a little more room so if you need to get back in there you'll be able to do that then we have an extension cable here this is a six pin uh, ams they, it says ams light cable um, that they've included in my little package of things to try out now I can tell you straight away that I'm going to be able to use this because the included cable, this is one and a half meters, uh, but the included cable that comes with the AMS is barely long enough for the setup as I have it currently. And these are the three items that we are going to focus on today. First, we have the Panda Purge Shield. The Panda Purge Shield is designed to improve your printing experience by preventing purge shoot blockages during multicolored prints. Next, we have the Panda Brush PX. This wipes away filament overflow like magic, preventing color contamination, clogs, and messy mishaps. Then we have the Panda AMS Guard. It is a drop-in upgrade designed to protect your AMS filament feed port from wear and tear. Featuring a ceramic inlet and an SLS nylon body, it ensures exceptional durability, secure installation, and long-term reliability during multicolor printing. These upgrades are perfect for both newcomers and veterans alike. Now, let's get into this machine. All right, I apologize about the noise, but we are going to start a little print here before we get into the modifications, because this is mostly about the filament waste system, the waste management system, if you will, on the P1S or the X1 Carbon. So I'm just going to print a multi-color benchy here really quick. Well, I say really quick, but it's going to take all four colors of the AMS. It's not going to be pretty but it is what it is. Uh, we are gonna print that. We're gonna see if we have any kind of uh, hoop sticking to the chute. We'll see how the nozzle wiping performs. Now we have our first little test complete. Let's see if we can, man, these cryo grip plates, they are something else. Okay, 
we got our first Benchy complete, and I am just going to show this. This Benchy was done um, not the greatest. I used the settings from the maker that made this multicolor Benchy, uh, but I just wanted, wasn't about seeing how well we could print a Benchy. It was seeing what the poop situation was like, and we have some poop in the bucket. We didn't have any stick, you know, no no shoot clogs. You can see right there, we have some nozzle situations. It's a little bit of nozzle, you know, goop there. Um, and that's toward the end, so it's probably not the result of a nozzle wipe. But anyway, all right, first we are going to install the Panda Purge Shield. Say goodbye to poop shoot clogs. We are now ready to install the Panda Purge Shield. So I've got my Panda Edge here. The first thing we need to do is to remove the original piece that's in there. We are going to switch. So you can see right here, come around from this angle here. There we go. That's not terribly difficult once you get the angle right. So that pops right off. This is what we had, just this little piece of metal that was stuck on with some tape there. Now they do recommend to degrease this area with some alcohol. So I've just got some cotton balls here with a little bit of alcohol on there. So that's gonna help us get the best adhesion possible. So we'll clean that right up, give that a second to dry, and then our Panda Purge Shield. So this has some nano coating on it that is supposed to keep it from allowing stuff to stick. No more clogged hoop shoots. So we will simply remove that and then carefully, this is not the best angle to be doing this from, I can tell you right now. So that is now installed. So we have that part complete. And next, they do give you some stickers. So if you like, you can put those on the front of the unit. All right, that is complete. That is like giving the old commode a Teflon coating. No more messy poop pileups in that chute. Moving right along to install segment number two, and that is going to be the Panda brush. So we have the Panda brush. That is the unit right there. So very similar to the A1, we've got these little rubber teeth, kind of like a toothbrush. And this is just gonna snap right in place. You can see it's got some uh, little ball bearings that are going to uh, just press fit right into place. And then they give you some replacement brushes as well. So this installation is very simple. All we have to do is remove this wiper. So there is a screw here. You use your larger of the two um, Allen keys. So that just simply comes on out and we will save that for prosperity. Move that out of the way. And then this is simply going to push into place and those ball bearings, we'll listen for that click. There we go. That is all that it takes to do that. And to do this, all we're going to do is we're going to take our filament out. And this is, we've got our ceramic insert and then these are SLS nylon. And all we need to do 
is press that right in place. That's going to go right like that. Pop that right in. Probably recommend doing a better job than I'm doing here. That just whoops, fits right in like so. There we go. Now, there is no more having to worry about running abrasive filaments through those feed ports. You now have the same protection as the AMS2 Pro. Sweet! This all started as stock. Now, it's fully upgraded. Feeder ports guarded. Nozzle wiped. Shoot clog free. All right, so enough with that fun. We are, you know, none of this really matters if it doesn't make a difference, if it doesn't prevent the problems that are unfortunately somewhat common with this printer. I love my P1S, don't get me wrong, but I've always wondered about this little guy here. I mean, this, I'm, you know, come on, seriously. They did not go with this on the A1. They did not go with this on the H2D. Uh, Bamboo obviously realized that this was not the best solution for wiping the nozzle. So hopefully we're going to get a little bit of improved nozzle cleaning performance out of that upgrade. Hopefully the Panda Shield will prevent us from having any poop chute pileups. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find a model that has a lot of filament changes. I am not one that prints multicolored terribly often with this printer. I'm just not a big fan of waste. So I'm going to take one for the team. I'm going to use these colors here. So the model is going to look a little bit weird, but I'm going to find a model that's going to hundreds of filament changes. We're going to let this thing run and we're going to see what happens. We have finished our print. This took over 13 hours and 147 filament changes to print this snake. And the important part here isn't the snake, but the poop chute. The poop chute is absolutely clear. Now, I will say I did have a couple of little instances where we had some poop land on the tray, but it's not sticking in the poop chute. So again, that is more of a P1S problem, but I can say that the nozzle wiper, the uh, guard, and obviously my uh, feeder nozzles there, those all worked well. So, what? and this is our print, and we have a four color, I have no idea how well or poorly this is going to come off the tray. The build plate here, no, not at all, looks like. We just got, a, got some supports that we're going to have to get rid of off of the head here. That's going to be a fun little adventure, but things printed pretty well. I don't know where the white ended up. I know I saw it earlier. But uh, we've got the black, we've got the clear, we've got clear, we got the orange. And somewhere in here, there's probably some white. I don't know. Not important. The important thing is, this worked well. Now, back to the parts at hand. You can get the enhancement kit which is the brush and the shield for $13.99. I will put the link below. And the AMS guards are $9.99. So for less than $25, you can do the upgrades that I showed here. And I'm very happy with this. I want to thank Bichu for sending these parts out to me today. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. Is this something that you're considering? Do you have problems with the AM, or not, excuse me, not the AMS, but with your 
poop shoot in your P1S, your P1P, your X1 carbon. Um, I have had a couple of situations where I have had um, filament bind up there in the chute, and I woke up one morning to a massive nozzle clog uh, that took me several hours to fix because when it jams there, you can't even move the tool head out of the way because you just have a big mess there, right? And it's kind of stuck uh, in the chute. So anyway, drop your comments below. Is this an upgrade that you would consider making? I would appreciate it if you haven't already, go ahead, hit the like button. If you find this content useful, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop new comment, new content. Now, you still have an opportunity to win an A1 Mini. Maybe. We're less than 250 subscribers away from 5,000, and that is when I'm going to stop the contest and pick a winner. Now, if you would like to enter that contest, it is open only to those folks that are in the USA, unfortunately, I'm sorry. As the channel grows, we'll try and get a little more international, but you'll need to go and take a look at my review for the Bamboo Lab H2D. You gotta pay attention. There's a special code word that you're gonna have to enter into the form, so you'll have to follow the link at the bottom, but uh, go ahead, if you still have time, if you look at our subscriber count, and I'm still less than 5,000, then you have an opportunity to do that. So, good luck. As always, I've enjoyed the time that we get to spend here together on the channel. Let's just keep on learning, burning, printing, and growing together. Take care, everyone.